<laughs> I'm back! <laughs> I'm a New York Struggles woman and I've brought my YouTube channel back to life so things are levelling up with the YouTube so sorry I've not been around for long uh, well for a while, for quite a while but we're back now um, I have Jake who's behind the camera that you can't see helping me out so got a cameraman which I know I said a lot of times on my last videos that would be the dream um, so we're living it, it's very cool Europe's Strongest Woman was a thing, so I figured first video back, why don't we go through that and then we'll go to the gym, do some training for the next things coming up because it's a busy old year. Didn't start out too well for me, you've probably seen it, the log press I zeroed um, as I famously zero overhead events in big competitions, but I didn't let it get to me, I picked myself up, dusted myself off and went and won at the yoke. So I got, well, the second fastest time, Becca Roberts beat me by like point something of a second in the open class. Look at Chloe Brennan there. That's 240 kilograms. They went quite through that. I really enjoyed yoke, obviously. It was 240 kilo for 20 meters to the end. Loved it, got my buzz back and I was like, right, now we climb so i need i knew i needed to climb up the leaderboard but i knew i was capable of doing that so yoke finished off day one and i was in an okay position not where i wanted to be but i had it in hand so day two sandbag steeplechase and the deadlift ladder the sandbag sandbag steeplechase we had a 75 kilo bag and a 100 kilo bag we basically had to run and load it twice so i knew if i loaded the last bag that would get me decent points and I had the luxury of going last because I'd won the yoke event so I knew no I think Yatta had loaded the last bag so I knew if I like got that on she was the only other person to do it so I was like right come on so I came second on that event after loading the fourth bag which I was really happy with that could put me in a good position and then the deadlift didn't quite go to plan like I knew I had it in me to finish the ladder so it finished at 220 kilos and I knew I was capable of that but some of it was just off like my 200 pull I was a bit wonky and then I just went into the 220 too quickly I knew I needed to wait and I didn't I panicked because Sarah and Jenny had got the last bar I was like well I need to do it quicker um, I had in my head that I needed to win all the events to get the win overall so that's what I was going for um, but I still got third on that event which wasn't too bad and put me in an okay position for day three where again I was like I'm gonna have to pull something out of my ass to win this thing now which I did so we had the shield carry which was 120 kilos or 115 kilos I don't know heavy and I dropped it much sooner than I anticipated so I hadn't got much chance to train with an actual shield I'd trained more on a who's fell which I felt incredibly strong with but the shield dropped like just after the turn back and it dropped into my hands and I was like, well, if I don't do well on this event, I am out. Like I could even miss podium. So I need to make sure I get to the end of this bloody walkway. So I just did one step at a time. And you'll see like photos and videos have been posted of all the girls yelling at me in front of me and they really did keep me going. And Matt, Matt was yelling at me as well. Hitting and punching and kicking and clawing for every meter that she can. That's 115 kilograms hanging off of her fingertips. Chloe Brennan still moving. We saw Rachel Greyhead make the 40 meter mark and then. I came second on that event behind Rachel, which put me one point behind Jenny Todd going into the final event. So basically how it worked was that if you, if there was a tie on points, it would go on who won the final event. So who got the quickest time on the power stairs. And me and Jenny had come, we, we were in first and second, so we were head to head on the power stairs. Jenny is my coach. She's one of my best friends. She'd had the lead the whole way through, but I knew I could, I knew I could have this. So it was pretty intense. Complete. Fourth and final step, 130 kgs, 30 seconds of tick off. Chloe. And on and across. She's done it. Todd scoots hers off. She's completed the course as well. Fantastic finish. We'll get you an official time here in a moment. So Gus has quickly come into the shot all of a sudden. 
<laughs> for me to talk about the power stairs. But yeah, so the power stairs was something like, if I knew going into that, if I won that event, if I beat Jenny, then I was gonna win Europe's Strongest Woman. So it was like a lot, a lot of pressure, but I knew I had it in me. I love power stairs. I know Jenny also loves power stairs, um, but I wanted it real bad. Um, so it was the, like the most intense event I've ever done like all the way up at one point I could hear we were like together and then I heard she was ahead of me at one point and then I knew I was ahead like it was oh it was ridiculous but I did manage to beat Jenny on the power stairs which was a, a weird one and I've said it to her because I was buzzing that I'd won so at the top you kind of see me like compared to my normal like <sighs> because I was so buzzing that I'd won but I wasn't completely sure I didn't want to prematurely celebrate but also like Jenny had held the lead the whole way through and I was like oh I've just taken the lead from my friend that's sad but I knew that she was really happy as well like we always said we were going to be one and two on that podium didn't matter the order and that is exactly what we did so that was pretty bloody cool and now I have one of these trophies, an OSG trophy, which I am super proud of. I haven't really allowed myself to be proud of it. I said before filming this, I was like, it's actually the first time where I'm talking about it and being like, you know what? I did a good job and I did do a good job. And now we are on to many more exciting things. So I've got a lot coming up the rest of this year. Uh, in mid-September, I'm flying out to New Hampshire to do a little lift at the New Hampshire Highland Games, which should be really fun. The weekend after that, I've got Natural Worlds, so it's the first one um, with this federation. I've won the UK's twice, so I'm really excited to try and get my first world title. And then the weekend after that... Gus is coming back. The weekend after Natural Worlds, we have Giants Live, Britain's Strongest Woman, which is just the most incredible opportunity. I am so grateful to have been asked to go. I'm really excited to just go and lift heavy stuff with my friends in front of a crowd. There's nothing I love more than a crowd. I've got lots of my clients coming along too, like current and past clients. It's just gonna be the best time ever, so I'm super excited for that. Then we have OSG Worlds in December, so the season is not over yet. There's plenty more to come, and we've got some cool little bits lined up as well. So next week I'm going to a theatre to do some lifting there. I don't really know what's going on, but I'm going. So I'm going to bring you along to that. You're going to be in on my preps for all of these competitions. And I'm very much looking forward to having you along again. I'm sorry I neglected the channel for so long, but we're coming back with a vengeance and I can't wait for you to come on the journey. So enough of me talking for now. It's about time I get to the gym and start training. We've got a busy yip. So at CrossFit Tamworth are doing my workout for today. So we've got some log and some deadlift. I'm currently doing heavy log every single day that I train. So I'm working up to a heavy single just because there's this number in my head. Whenever I get close to it, I get a bit scared. I've got the strength. It's a submaximal load in terms of overhead weight. Um, so it's just getting used to it. So I've got 50 minutes, work up to a heavy single. So let's do it. into the big weights by going half a kilo under. to never zero the logging comp again but I'll make an exception for giants because it's quite heavy <laughs> for me I'll try it though I'll really try it
I'm going to go practice on the giant slug as well. It's a wooden log, so it just feels a little bit different to the metal ones. Um, I don't think better or worse, it just takes some getting used to, so I need to get used to it some more. Some other girls in my weight class put like 100 kilo logs that they read. And that was 77 and a half and I'm like. But this channel is gonna see the evolution of my log. You heard it here first. Some people call them biscuits. I prefer chocolate digestive myself. <laughs> This is 78 and a half. That's starting to get hard. So I've got three minutes left. So I'm gonna take a couple of minutes and then instead of going up for the sake of it, I'm gonna get another good rep in there. Get some positive data. So glad there's not a log at OSG at the end of this year. Gonna get points on the A bed. <laughs> Finish the log. Um, it's just like 15 minutes. Then we've got axle deadlift, so I'll get that way, get that out, wiggle in my suit and see what we got. We've got axle deads. I have some sick socks on that I've got grips on the bottom, so I ain't gonna oh, slide anywhere. Excellent for deadlift ladders. Hexy. Chloe Brennan 20, 20% 20 off. Um, but no, Axel Deadlift. So this is for Britain's strongest woman. So I'll get the suit on. Weight at Brit is 220 for reps. So whilst I normally like a nice clean deadlift, I'm gonna have to deliberately hitch to save energy to give me the chance of getting more reps because that's really top end for me. So I apologize in advance for the ugly hitch reps, but I'm gonna say it's a skill. So you might see a mix of reps, and if you're seeing the hitch, there's a reason, and I've thought, I've thought about it, and it's deliberate. <laughs> Saturday, last week, I was getting a bit annoyed because a three at 200 felt really hard, and when I did it on a barbell, didn't feel that hard, forgetting that axle kind of is a different position, it wants to pull you out in front. There's no give in the bar, so working up to a top set of two and then back down, so hopefully, hopefully it goes well. Very excited to go and watch Lucy and Rebecca tomorrow. That's probably already happened by the time you watch this. Um, but it's going to be wild. I'm very excited. Two ladies in a sold out Giants Live crowd. Going to sell it out ourselves soon, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> If you're a weirdo that's into sweaty women, please click off this video right now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Those people exist. I don't want them. They're not welcome here. <laughs> I hate it, but 
Although it felt, I think I need some bigger straps. It feels a bit weird. But the second rep will be very nicely. So next set, both reps will be like that, just to save energy on the lockout. So I'll hopefully have more to give on the second start. Bit. Come on. Hey. Up, 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 up. <laughs> there we go. We're getting there. I mean, I'm ashamed I had to hitch them both. But it's a weight PB and it's on an axle. So we take the wins. <laughs> now I get to back down. Yay! I've always been very anti-hitch. I was, I was going to say, uh, that's yeah. something what you don't think you usually do. But um, if it means I'm in with a chance of getting more reps in it, silly enough to admit the place of pride. So, practice and drilling it on the lighter weights now, so it just becomes, Normal yeah. So, so, did two yeah. times two though. Nice. Felt good, so, getting there. So session finished, it was just a quick short one today. We had log, deadlift and throwing bags in preparation for Natural Worlds, Giant Slide Britain Strongest Woman and a little bit for OSG Worlds at the end of the year too. So we've got some exciting things coming up. Next week I'm going to be joining in with like a circus theatre show thing which is going to be really cool. I'm going to bring Jake along for that so make sure you keep your eyes peeled. It's going to be fun. Uh, then we've got loads of competitions coming up, obviously, so it's a fun time. Welcome back. I'm glad to have it up and running. Don't forget to like, share the video, 